Officials in Camden County, Missouri, have penned a response letter to the ATF telling them to pound sand and calling them an unconstitutional agency. I just got off the phone with one of the commissioners, and it's phenomenal. Guys and gals, before I jump into this letter to the ATF, I want to remind everybody about USCCA. The United States Concealed Carry Association has a ton of education and training, and if you carry a gun, which kind of should be something that you do if you value your own safety. You are your own first responder. And we just had a, an incident in Lexington, Kentucky, Nashville. I could go on and on, but you must be your own safety uh, steward, your own range officer. You must be your own first responder. And God forbid you have to step up and save yourself or somebody you love or even somebody in your community. The USCCA will be there to help defend you in court when you become a member. You can check them out down below at uscca.com slash GNG. And uh, guys and gals, I've been telling you for years, I use it for my family. I pay my own money to, to when, I, when I started buying um, memberships. And I really believe you should check it out. It's a money back guarantee. So if you join and you figure out, ah, I don't really like this, you get your money back. Uh, but uh, the value that they offer is amazing. So check them out, uscca.com slash GNG. And now let's get into this letter that the Camden County Commissioners sent to the ATF. First off, I want to set the stage. This was sent, there was four individual requests sent to Camden County. Um, look, the ATF was looking to get information on zoning for locations. I'm going to read you the letter first because it's phenomenal. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what I just learned from talking to uh, the folks over in Camden County, Missouri. This is from the Camden County Commission, and it's to Amy Borkowski, who is the ATF Senior Industry Operations Investigator, and it says regarding your request for information. Mrs. Borkowski, on or about Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, the four emails you sent to our Planning and Zoning Department requesting information about citizens of Camden County and their zoning and licensing status were forwarded to me for review. Under the anti-commandeering doctrine, Camden County was the first county in Missouri and possibly the country to pass an ordinance prohibiting any county employees from assisting your unconstitutional agency in violating the rights of our citizens, God-given, constitutionally protected right to keep and bear arms. As well, Missouri passed the Second Amendment Preservation Act having a $50,000 penalty for assisting the federal government in the enforcement of unconstitutional firearms infringements. Therefore, I construe any attempt to receive information about our citizens pertaining to firearms as an attempt to coerce our employees to break Missouri law. You may consider this letter as a response to your probe. And it's signed by Ike Skelton, the presiding commissioner who I spoke to this morning, as well as James Goigan and Don Williams, two other commissioners, the county attorney, the county treasurer, and the Camden County Sheriff. All right, awesome letter. Um, I spoke with uh, the presiding commissioner, Ike Skelton, today. Uh, man, you're doing a hell of a job. And actually, as I'm recording this, he's live on the radio in Missouri defending his, his letter. And I think it's phenomenal when government sticks up for or actually does their job to protect and defend all of our rights and in our case the second amendment right this is phenomenal even though you know if you read all the tabloids or if you go online and search this information they're going to tell you they'll be quick to tell you that oh you know last month the second amendment preservation act was struck down as null and void and i did a video on that and it's floating above it's being challenged because uh it what the federal government is doing violates not only our second amendment but state rights as well many amendments are violated with uh with what the federal government does and Missouri stepped up to do the right thing and that $50,000 burn in somebody's pocket if they assist unconstitutional uh firearms control has teeth and it's working now regarding the four inquiries by ATF the ATF is telling, uh, I think it was Business Insider, they're telling everybody who will listen that we were looking to get zoning information uh, because they're processing FFL requests. So they're trying to check on the locations so that they can put people in business is what they're saying rather than to take people out of business. So a post editing update here. While I was editing the video, I got another follow up email from Camden County and the commissioners there. Thank you, sir, again. And this is proof that ATF was lying from what they told the uh, magazines versus what actually happened. Check this out. This is the letter that ATF sent to the Camden County Planning and Zoning. It says, uh, obviously it's redacted for the names of the businesses. Blank operates a firearms business at Blank State Road A, Montreal, Missouri. 
How is this property zoned? Is the business in compliance with all zoning and business licensing requirements? Thank you. So this isn't looking for new uh, locations to go into business like they said in their response to the inquiry uh, from Business Insider. This is them checking on fully established FFLs. Good on, again, good on the commissioners, the sheriff, and the county attorney for telling the ATF to pound sand. Pretty good update. Way to go, way to go uh, to the sheriff and the commissioners and the city, the county attorney in Camden County. This is, this is the great part about the SAPA law is when it gets tested and it actually stands. Um, my hat off to you, sir. Thank you for the information today. Thanks for chatting with me, me real quick. And uh, if I can be any help to any of y'all uh, fighting back, let me know. You know how to get a hold of me. Guys and gals, thank you so much for your time. If you love the Second Amendment, you love the fact when... Uh, our elected officials stand up for our rights and do their job and tell the ATF to pound sand and subscribe to Guns and Gadgets down below. I will bring you Second Amendment news every single day. I took a day off for Easter. I think it's the first time I didn't do a video in like three months, but you know what I'm saying. I got the information checked back multiple times a day because oftentimes I'll do multiple videos and YouTube isn't going to tell you all about them. So like the video and share it if you get anything out of it. Turn that bell notification on to all notifications so that they are supposed to tell you when I put out content or go live, which happens a lot. And until uh, we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.